of Maggie Mayne today, we're going to be doing a lie flat. We're going to start with putting her into a lie flat position with a command and hoping that she does it. And after that, we'll show you how to achieve it. Okay, first of all, I'm going to consider the surface that my dog is on. <coughs> I'm going to make sure it's not a hard floor because that wouldn't be very nice for them. And we're going to make sure we've got treats to hand. Okay, ideally, teach this to your dog after it's done a bit of exercise, burnt off a bit of excess energy. It might be easier for you to teach it and for the dog to concentrate. Okay, Maggie, down. Good girl. Maggie, flat. Good girl, good girl, flat, good girl. As I said, this dog has only just started to learn this exercise, so her confidence is growing, which is what will happen with your dogs. Good girl, flat, good girl. And then I'll give her a release command. Okay, come on then, good girl. All right, so what we'll do now is we'll teach you how to do that. All right, we'll give you the technique that I use to get my dog into a life flat position. So starting off, consider your flooring, make sure your dog's comfy. If it's too wobbly a surface, your dog probably won't like it at all. Okay, so just some nice soft carpet. Or you can do it outside as well as mine. So plenty of treats in your hands. We're going to take the treat to the nose and then round towards the elbow and the shoulder. That way the dog should come round if they go all the way into a life flat, reward it, keep your voice calm. If not, don't worry, just stick with it. And we'll just see how it goes. Good girl. The treat to the nose. I'm not allowing the dog to have the treat. I'm taking it round to the, towards the elbow. And if your dog's new to it, I would treat it there. Okay? Make it a positive experience for your dog. Good girl. Down. Good girl. Round to the shoulder. If your dog is pawing at you, don't give it the treat, okay? So right now like that. Good dog, okay? Good girl. Okay. Now for this instance, I'm just showing you what positions your dog might get into. All right, let's have a look. I'm just getting some more treats. Maggie, on the mat, good girl, down. So this time, I'm hoping to get her all the way into a life flat position. She's gone over on a hip, which is great. So if she's over on her right hip, then I'm gonna roll her that way. If she was over on the other hip, I'd roll her that way. It's just easier for the dog to get into that position. If they're up on their, um, up on their haunches, then that's absolutely fine as well. Just take your time with them. Good girl. So, a couple of treats. To the nostrils, round to the shoulder. Good dog. I can reward there because I've got more treats in this hand. So now what I'm going to do is keep her in that position and reward. Now this time I'm going to take my hand away and keep it low. Go back in and treat. Stay flat. Good girl. So while she's in that position, have some treats handy. If they get up, don't worry about it, just get them back in that position. But what I want to show you is how I administer the treats. So I'm coming away from the dog's nose, in, reward, and hand away. That way, hopefully your dog will keep your head flat to the ground. If you come up like that, your dog's head will come up, which we don't want. We want to reward your dog from this position. Good girl, good girl. Now what I would do, once you've practiced that a few times and your dog is comfortable with that, and you are, I would start putting in a command. So flat, good girl. Flat, good girl. Good girl. Now, I wouldn't put a verbal command to it until you know you've got the behavior, just to make it less complicated for your dog. So wait until it's in the position and keep very calm and use the word Flat or whatever you want to use. Good girl. Flat. In with a treat. Once you've got to grips with that and your dog's comfortable, you can put in a hand cue as well. So in this instance, I will say, flat, good girl. 
So now we've got a hand cue and a verbal cue for the dog to know what it's supposed to be doing. Good girl. When you're ready, give it a release command so it knows the exercise is over. Okay. If your dog really likes the treats, it will tend to stay in that position. Okay. <laughs> She's got something stuck there. All right. But they will enjoy it. Okay. Once your dog is in the down, keep your car, uh, calm voice. Don't get too excited. Okay. If you've got a calm voice, your dog will stay calm. Don't forget your release command to let your dog know the exercise is over. And once he's done the exercise and the exercise is over, don't give any more treats. Practice lots. Give them short periods of time of training and then some breaks in between so they can process what they're doing. What we're going to do now then is we'll have a go again. So this is just a quick, quick show you how to do it. Obviously, practice those at home, have fun with it, all right? This time, what we're gonna do is we're not gonna do it with a treat as a lure. Good girl, down, flat. Good dog, again, I'm really pleased my dog's done it. She's only young, she's still learning it. Good girl, in with the treat from the front there, rather than dropping it in from the top. Good girl. Nice and calm, good girl. And I'd always give more than one treat if I can. Good girl. Once you've got your dog in that position, if you want to, you can start adding in something else if the dog's happy. Flat, good girl. So I might stroke the dog, but treat from the front there, okay? So that way you can get your dog used to being handled while it's in a lie flat position, which is really useful. Good girl. All right. So have a go at home. Spend time with each other. Have fun because that's the really most important thing of all. And if you like the video, please comment below and subscribe and like. And if you need any help or any advice about dog training or doing some tricks with your dog, please do let us know. You can go to the Southwest Dog Training website. Our contact details are on there. And it'll be bye from me and bye from Maggie.